So this little car here is almost 100 years old and it's commonly referred to as the CV5, so developing about 14 horsepower. So let's have a look at the magic power source. It's a bit different than what we are used to today. I mean, they really built cars nicely in the old days. Look at this. Well, that turns to be empty. So we'll have to fill it up. Far, I haven't seen any leaks, so I'm going to clean up. We have a bit of a confusion on the spark plugs, but we'll figure that out very soon. And it goes, in fact, very smooth. So I know I have compression on all four cylinders, the engine is turning over quite smoothly. And that would actually grease the valve seats and the valves themselves. It's just the nut that wasn't bolted down properly. And that should just be fine. And then I can tell what the sequence will be. The piston is not right underneath the spark plug, it's a bit on the side. But I can feel it's now top that center. And have a look here, right? See how that moves? I don't know if you saw it, but I saw some sparks, very faint. I have some bad news. I've been trying to crank up the engine a couple of times and I almost have no arms left. Um, and the magneto is just not doing what it's supposed to do. Um, th the sparks that I see on the magneto are way too faint and that's because of the magnet, the permanent magnet inside the magneto has lost its magnetism. So what I've done is I replaced the magneto, or I bypassed it, with an ignition coil. So I checked the gap as you've seen, we checked also that the breaker points were clean. Ah, almost. I doesn't want to do it. It's a good exercise. 